It's always a good day when upgrade kits by Gridiron Studios make their way over to Toy Connections HQ. So we can take a look at how these standard G.I. Joe classified Cobra Infantry offerings look with their new Gridiron Loadout kits. Let's begin. Back in the 1980s, one of the things that made Cobra the Enemy such a standout as G.I. Joe's rival faction was their use of the color blue. In the vintage line, you had blue shirts, blue officers, blue glider pilots, blue vipers, heck, even their commander was dressed in blue. It's become a timeless concept that has now transcended the generations right into the 6-inch scale G.I. Joe classified modern line that's based on our original Real American Hero lineup of figures. Once again, you have blue shirts, more blue shirts, blue officers, blue vipers, female Valkyries dressed in blue, and yes, once again, a commander dressed in various shades of blue all over again. Now, back when it was released, there was a period of time when the Cobra Infantry was a bit easier to acquire in other regions compared to other figures, and as such, I did end up with some extras for which to make use as figure-based bodies to go with the various Gridiron character loadout offerings. In particular, Gridiron has an anti-tank loadout gear set for Cobra to take aim at the G.I. Joe Mobat or Mauler, and also their Riot gear loadout to provide some frontline muscle for our enemy ranks. Going back to open up a figure, I'll point out that any of the Cobra Infantry, Cobra Trooper, or Cobra Officer can make for a good base figure, but as I mentioned a moment ago, I had an easier time acquiring the infantry, so that's what we have to work with here. We can start by looking at the anti-tank gear loadout, which comes with everything from an AK-74 to a Carl Gustav bazooka, as well as some rockets and a radio. The helmet may need to be stretched just a tad, but it will still fit relatively easily onto his head just like this. The rocket holder will fit like a backpack and peg into his back, but you won't be able to add the infantry's pistol into the back holster because it'll most likely be in the way and the backpack is already a bit of a tight fit as it is, even though it still works. Gridiron has taken some extra care to the details as the radio does fit into the side of his pack and the rockets also load in to give it a more realistic feel. The Gustav recoilless rifle also comes together like so and you can clip the magazine into his AK-74. You can then strap the AK-74 across his body and let the weapon hang off to the side. All of that can give a similar look to the promotional shots that Gridiron Studios has used on their webpage. Though, from what I can tell, they opted to use the Cobra Officer as the base figure body rather than the infantry. You can also insert the knife of the infantry into his front and his sidearm into his other holster if you choose to, as these came with the standard infantry figure anyway. The bazooka can also tab into his pack if you choose to display it as such, and it does look good on display even like this. Now, with all that being said, the majority of people probably bought this kit so that he could actually hold the bazooka, though it does take a little bit of practice to get it into a realistic firing position, or at least into a firing position where he can hold it nicely for the purposes of display. You can also hold up a rocket into the back of the bazooka to make it look like it's loading, much like the promotional shots on the website, though it doesn't fire all the way through to the front, so if you want to show it like it's blasting off like a rocket, you would have to insert it from the front like this. Now here's a look at him with a standard infantry as well as with the regal blue Cobra commander, and then here's another look with the other troops that also include the Cobra officer, Cobra trooper, and Valkyrie 2-pack. Overall, I really can't complain about what I received. This adds quite a bit in terms of figure range and specialties within the Cobra ranks, thus giving us more than just the usual troops that we're already used to. Within the same hall, I also got the Riot Gear loadout, which of course has this massive shield as well as a nightstick and a knife, as well as other weapons including a grenade launcher and a swappable head with a gas mask. And here's a closer look at the overall kit. Now, interestingly, the gas mask is actually a swappable head rather than being gear that just goes over the standard figure's head. As such, you'll likely need to heat up the neck joint and the gas mask head to swap it out, but once it goes onto the figure, you immediately know that you've got a specialized army builder to add into your ranks. Like with the previous figure that I showed, you can add the Cobra Infantry standard gear to the figure, and in this case, you'll be able to fit the second pistol into the back holster behind him. 
Here's the figure holding the nightstick, giving it more of that riot style look, as well as the knife in his other hand if you're looking to show some melee combat. Both the nightstick and the knife tab into the back of the shield and I feel that the best look is to put the shield into one hand and the grenade launcher into the other so that this tough looking trooper is ready for action. I'll also point out that if you do decide to put the knife into the sheath on the front of his vest, it may limit the movement of his head a little bit since the mask will be in the way, but it's not a bad thing at all. It's just something to point out. This was actually the kit that I was most excited for among the two that I got, though looking at them side by side, I would now say that I like them equally as both have a lot to offer. Once again, price may be a detractor for some of you out there, and nothing I say here is really going to change that or sway you one way or another when it comes to gridiron product. You either like it as a specialized resin cast product, priced much like other customized items that you've bought on the market, or you feel it's not worth paying more than the price of a standard figure. Again, that's up to each individual buyer, and I know where I stand, or I wouldn't have bought these kits. Here's a look at the two figures with various other figures, including the standard G.I. Joe classified offerings, and let's just say that army building never looks so good. Here's a look at the Riot gear loadout next to G.I. Joe classified Shockwave, as both are holding shields, and here's a look with some other gridiron loadout kits that I featured in the past. Hopefully, you as a viewer had a fun look-see at what these loadouts have to offer, and don't forget to check out some of my other content right over here. Otherwise, yo Joe, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks again, and take care.